In this video, I'm going to discuss how you can interpret the relief of the land. Today I'm talking about relief and how you can interpret the relief of the land. You'll most commonly find relief on an ordnance survey map and the knowledge of how to interpret relief could be really useful when planning any expeditions to an area. So what exactly is relief? Relief refers to the elevation and shape of the land. It basically details the height and steepness of an area. It makes the distinction between flat areas of land and steep areas with high elevations, such as hills and mountains. How can we interpret relief? On ordnance survey maps, there are brown lines called contour lines, and the distances between them varies from five to 10 meters. For this video, we will assume that the distance in between contour lines represents 10 meters. Now, the closer the lines are together, the steeper the land while the further they are away from each other, the flatter the land is. So let's take a look at a few different examples of the types of relief you might find in ordnance survey maps and how to interpret them. Now, if we look at example number one, you're gonna see that the contour lines are fairly close together and this represents a steeper hill. And if we look on the right, the example is that it's a fairly steep hill with these close contour lines. If we compare this to number two, that the contour lines are further apart, so that represents a slightly flatter hill. And then number three shows us another example of contour lines that are quite far apart, and this would represent flatter land. Then we've got a couple of the common features you're gonna see on an ordnance survey map. Number four shows a river valley. So in this example, it's decreasing in height from the west to the east. We start off at high elevation on the west side of this valley and then it decreases and the river flows down that valley towards the east. In number five, we've got an example of a spur or a ridge of land. And again, it starts off at higher land in the southwest. And then as it travels towards the northeast in this example, it will be decreasing in height as well. I've also included a few more examples of different types of profiles you might see. So if we look at one to five, number one is again is an example that we've already seen before, where you see the contour lines fairly close together and you get a fairly steep hill. I've provided several different examples for you to have a go at. So try drawing the cross section of these examples or try and make them out of Play-Doh or any kind of modeling material. Number four, again, I've given you an example of number four where you see that quite low peak on the west side of the mountain and then you've got the higher peak towards the east so again have a go at those three other examples again either draw the cross section or try and model it out of modeling clay or play-doh or any other material thanks for watching give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more geography basics